you through my current makeup that I've been doing during this quarantine because why not I don't know just show you what I've been putting on my face so I've already put my foundation on I always use the wet n wild photo focus foundation I just tanned yesterday so I have a fresh tan on so today I'm using the shade cream beige I have a few different shades sometimes I have to mix sometimes I just use one but today is cream beige this is their dewy one I put it on with the real techniques sponge and I love this foundation right now I'm I have the bathroom lights on but I'm in a front of a window so I have the natural light so I don't know if you guys can tell obviously my lips are covered in it but I don't know if you guys can tell how nice it just like looks on the skin I don't know I'm obsessed with it this is pretty much my like everyday makeup routine I don't know the last time that I showed it to you guys though so if you're not interested in this you can just skip it but figured I'd show you guys what I've been doing. So we've got the Tarte Shape Tape for concealer. This is in the shade Light. Also, I already did my brows. I use, this is destroyed, but it's the e.l.f. Eyebrow Pencil. I believe it's in the shade like Natural Brown or something like that. I'll have all my products linked below so you guys can um, see all that. But I've tried other high-end brow pencils like the Anastasia, the, um, what's the other one? The Benefit one and I just think this one works great so like if it ain't broke don't fix it it's two dollars so I love it all right concealer I'm doing this in the viewfinder so that's not that great but also I'm blind I literally was editing the video today and there was like two whole clips that were out of focus and I didn't even notice like everything just looks out of focus to me all the time <laughs> all right then I just blend that in with the other side of my sponge I should put a small mirror right here does this have a mirror <laughs> Now I'm gonna be looking down, sorry guys, but I have a mirror right here now. Okay, I also wanna get this documented because I go back and watch old videos and I'm like, I wonder how I did my makeup then because I feel like it looked good. So now if I ever find that I come back to these videos and like my makeup, now I will know how I did it. Next I'm taking the Wet n Wild Makeup Stick contour stick it's in the shade oaks on you i used to take a brush and wipe am i not blended on my forehead that's so weird it looks like it's not blended on camera i used to take a brush and wipe it on this and then do it but now i just put it right on my face i feel like it makes it like stronger literally just like that i used to be so scared of cream contour now i'm like obnoxious beauty blender for everything <laughs> I usually don't face this way and do my makeup. I do it in the mirror, so I have like artificial lighting. So this is so different right now. Benji, get out right now. I posted, to me, the funniest TikTok of my dad. You guys would have seen the TikTok if you watched my last vlog. It was in there, but I pulled it from that vlog and put it on TikTok, and I think it's hilarious. So if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, you should go watch it, it's funny. All right, that, oh my God. Are you serious? You guys are not even gonna believe what Benji just did. He's literally inside. I don't even know how he just did that. Hold on. How? How did you even just get back there? What are you doing? Get out! Now I gotta take all this stuff out? Out, out. How the, how did you even fit in there? Now I'm just taking some white powder. This is like a random one that I got in like a BoxyCharm box or something. Extraordinary translucent powder. I'm not swearing by it, but it does what it needs to do, I think. I just take like this e.l.f. brush. Literally have been using this like probably since I started my channel. You could go back on like my old videos and I've probably had this brush, but don't go back on my old videos, okay? Don't. 
have to keep looking in this mirror because I look so different in here than on camera. For bronzer, I use the Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronzer. I use a brush like this. This is Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter, but we use it for bronzer. I haven't done my makeup in a video in so long. I wanted to do kind of like a more full kind of in-depth face that I would do because I just freshly tanned last night. So like I want I want the full package, you know, feel all nice and put together today, boost my mood. For blush, I've actually been using eyeshadow. So in this palette, it's Nude Medium by Huda Beauty. These two shades right here, it's like a pinky and then a like brownish nude. I just dip into both of those, tap off the excess, excess, <laughs> and I use that as a blush. Oh, pretty. The brush that I'm using, by the way, is Luxie 516, the Duo Fiber, Fiber Powder. Fibre? What is that? Fibre? <laughs> blush. Done. And I'm gonna use that brownish shade that I just showed you guys on my eyes. I'm using the Sigma E40 brush. It's all like faded off. Eyeshadow is definitely one of my weak points. So I tend to just throw some color in my crease and blend it all out and call it a day. Something like that. And then something I've been trying recently, I saw Julia Havens do. I've tried this before, like a while ago, but I just never was good at it. So she inspired me to give it another go. It's kind of to make like a eyeshadow liner kind of, but I do it way like subtly because I suck at it. So I've been doing it in the last few times I've done my makeup in the last few videos, but I just put a darker brown on the lash line. Again, I'm super messy with it and not good at it at all. But once I put on mascara, it kind of hides it. <laughs> and then I attempt to take it and make a small wing, literally just like that, like nothing crazy. It probably looks terrible, but. And then if we're feeling frisky, I dip into like a goldish light shimmer and put it on my lid. Just the tiniest bit, not a lot. And now we are highlighting with the Ofra Madison Miller palette. I use this one like a um, champagne darker highlighter. Mm -hmm. Right there, so pretty. A little bit on the nose. little mat. Then I take a Morphe M321, put it in the corners, brow bone, lip, done. I'm gonna touch up my brows really quick. Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Smells so good and I love the mist of this. Mm. Curl the lashes. The mascara that I've been using recently is this one. It's by Lancome. Hype, hip, hypnos, hypnos, drama. It's pretty good, not my favorite in the world, but um, I have it, so I'm using it. But it's definitely comparable to the one that I used to use, which is the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. That one's amazing too. This one's bomb too. I haven't used the Better Than Sex in a long, long time, so I can't tell you which one. Oh no, you know what? I haven't used Better Than Sex in a long time. The one that I was using before this is by It Cosmetics. That one's bomb too. It's in a black packaging. I just had to throw it out because it got dry. But that one's really good too. Okay, now I'm just wiping off the foundation off my lips. Chapstick, Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Send Nudes. All right, makeup is finished. Taking down this hair. I just recently did that TikTok thing with the robe, so it's kind of just like a curly mess. All right, I'm going to throw a little bit of product in here. Suave Mousse. I've used this since I was probably in middle school. That actually probably is a bottle for middle school. Remember when it was cool to scrunch your hair? I used to do that all the time. I'm actually liking this on the second day. I didn't like it as much yesterday, but I think it looks good now. Not too shabby. I'm gonna go put on my jewelry and I will be right back. Alrighty, I am back. Put on some hoops. These are from Forever 21. Rings. This one's from Amazon. This one is a promise ring from Zane from years ago. And then this bracelet is from Amazon as well. I hope this lighting is okay, you guys, because I turned off the light above me because look how yellow it looks. Not cute, right? Okay, way better with it off. I actually had a salad right before I got ready for like an early lunch. 
So I need to brush my teeth because your girl had like some onions in, in there. We're kicking. <laughs> I mentioned this in a recent video that Zane and I got new toothbrushes and I'm freaking obsessed with it. So I wanted to show it to you guys. It's called Brio Smart Clean. So thank you so much to Brio for partnering with me on this video. I am obsessed with it. I've been trying it out for you guys to make sure that I absolutely loved it. And oh my God, I feel like I went to the dentist every time I use this toothbrush, no joke. I have had just a regular toothbrush my whole life. Like I never owned an electronic toothbrush. This is game changing. Like, can we just talk about this for a second? I feel so much cleaner. I don't know if it's actually happening, but I feel like my teeth are getting whiter. It just feels like you got all that gook off that you cannot get with just a normal traditional regular toothbrush and I've been buying those my whole life and I will never go back. Before I put water on it, I want to show you it's got five modes because if you put it on there and then turn it on, it gets all over the mirror. I learned the hard way. Oh, it's wet from the earlier this morning. Okay, we're good now. After it splashed all over my face. So this is the mode that I use. It's called polish. First of all, it's really cool because it freaking lights up. So the first mode, you've got clean, white, polish, massage, sensitive, and that's it. Those are five modes. You have the little battery down here and it lights up. How freaking cool is that? Just a simple button. And to me, what I love about it is you're brushing your teeth and then it goes for a certain amount of time and it'll turn off. So you know exactly how long you're supposed to brush your teeth and it pauses when you should switch sections. So say I brush this side of my mouth, pauses, I go to the front, pauses, then I go to the side and I can tell exactly like where I'm supposed to be brushing to make sure I get it all clean. Oh, it feels so good. And then once it turns off, I can brush my tongue with it while it's off because we don't want water splashing all over. The battery life is also insane. When I first thought about getting an electronic toothbrush, I was like, that's gonna be annoying. I have to charge my freaking toothbrush. Like what? This thing, like I charged it once and that's it. I have not touched it and it's still full battery. So it lasts a long, 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 long time. I've had it for a while now and I haven't, it hasn't even moved. Like it's still full battery, which is amazing. Another thing that I was a little nervous about is me being sensitive to the vibration. It would hurt my gums, but it actually promotes healthier gums and it cleans your gums very effectively and it does not hurt at all. It's super, super comfortable. Trust me. I put it on like the highest setting and it, I get satisfied of how much it's cleaning my teeth. It's kind of like upgrading from doing the dishes to like, getting a dishwasher or like a power washer for your mouth but a lot more delicate <laughs> imagine power washer in your mouth <laughs> the design of it is really sleek i always look for aesthetic and packaging and stuff like that the packaging that it came in is so nice it's got a two-year warranty and they have amazing customer service you can literally talk to the ceo if you wanted to like that's how on top of their customers they are so you don't have to worry about any of that so let's use this really quick i should have done it before i put my lipstick on but i forgot and now i really want to brush my teeth because i feel a little nasty and they have a subscription service for the brush head so you don't have to worry about ordering them if you want to get that ish delivered to your door just the way that I like it. You don't have to think about it. It just comes when you need it. Put it in your mouth before you turn it on. Trust me. Look at that. They're literally getting whiter every time I use this. It's insane. My favorite part after using it is like running your tongue against your teeth and it's just like smooth and glossy sorry that was like so too much okay so with all that being said you guys it's a really nice premium toothbrush with a not so premium price these toothbrushes can get like in the hundreds it's insane and like i said they have amazing customer service they have a two-year warranty and they have a 60 day money back guarantee so if you guys order it you don't really like it which you will you can send it back and they have like super high customer ratings as well so i truly truly love this toothbrush if you guys are interested you deserve to treat yourself spend a little extra money on something that you use literally twice sometimes three times a day. So it's worth it and you guys deserve it. And um, trust me, you will love it. So if you wanna shop anything, I'll have all the links down below. What are you doing, mamas? Are you enjoying the beautiful weather? Is it so nice? You're probably on fire. You're so warm. That sunshine feels good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It is such a beautiful day out today. We forgot garbage day was last night. I'm so upset. We have so much garbage out there. It is such a gorgeous day, so we're gonna take advantage of that in a little bit. Are you taking advantage of the nice weather? Oh, you're so beautiful. You can't even look at me. It's too sunny, huh? Oh, such a nice baby. Oh my God, I freaking love this cat. I ran out of wax melts, and a lot of you guys said Scentsy, but I went online, and they're like $6 a pack. Like, I know they like last long, but like, I feel like that's a lot. Like, there was only six pieces in there? I don't know. So I got these Febreze melt. I'm gonna try these out before I try Scentsy. It's not that I don't want to pay money for good quality products. I just 
if I could find something that's a little more affordable, if I'm gonna be going through it quickly, I'd rather be more, a little more cautious. Cautious, is that the right word? Yeah, I guess so. We're gonna try these Febreze wax melts with gain. So basically it's gonna smell like laundry in here. I'm so excited. Oh my God, they smell so good. So we're gonna put those in. You guys know that I do the freezer trick where you put the wax thing in the freezer, but everyone always says, try putting a cotton ball in it. I don't have cotton balls, but I have cotton pads. So we're gonna see if that works. This is hot. So they said, put it in and it will absorb it. Oh. It actually did. I'm scared to burn my, oh yeah, I'm getting wax on my nail. Let me turn it off. Wow. I feel like I should be doing this with um, tongs or something, probably. That worked though. I like it. All right, I just cleaned the rest of it out with a tissue. These cubes are massive and it came with a few packs of these. I think it was like 12 bucks on Amazon. Ooh, and it's already hot, the wax melt, so it's gonna melt super quick and smell up so nice. That's the one that we have in our office. I'm gonna put one in the one that we have in the kitchen. Yay! I'm so excited about this. Yeah, you guys, it came with like four of them. Amazing. Benji Bella! Hey! I feel like I have to yell at you guys every time I'm filming. I also got these two fun things that would be super useful for us in the kitchen. It is an onion saver and an avocado storer. We always have half of onions, half of avocados, and to keep wasting, wasting, <laughs> to keep wasting plastic baggies is no bueno. Can I open this? I literally cannot get this off for crap. Jesus. All right, these are from Amazon as well. So you just pop it open like that and you put your little onion in it. How freaking cute. I feel like this is so much better than like stinking up a Tupperware and like sometimes you just don't really realize what's in a Tupperware. So now you always know the onions are in the onion. And then this little pod has a top on it. Oh, I love this. This is so awesome. I love these, so cute. I've seen these in like a big set, but we don't really use tomatoes so i didn't need the whole set we really just use a lot of onion and avocado so i got these two separately this is something that jerry showed me zane's mom a while back in a vlog so if you guys remember it's like a pet hair remover this is on amazon there's no like tape or anything it's just like one of those felt removers but you basically like rub it on the surface and then you open it up in here and then all the hair goes in here and it like picks up a lot of freaking hair it's kind of nasty but we got two cats, so I feel like this was needed. So now we have one. All right, and then this is weird, but believe it or not, we don't have a duster. And um, I realized that the lamps we just got are gonna need to be dusted. And then also in our bathroom, the lamps above the sink, they're dusty. So I got a reusable duster. You can just like rinse it off, I think. So it attaches right on here. It's like nice and fluffy. And for when we move into a beautiful home and we have things up high that we need to dust. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my God, it's still going. <laughs> oh my God. It extends so much. Perfect for like ceiling fans. All right, so it's supposed to just screw right on here and then you can dust things that are right in front of you wow this is way bigger than i thought this is only like 10 bucks this is so nice don't worry guys i got you okay i got you this is so awesome i love this how fluffy and oh my god this is so cool why am i so oh my god it's how you know you're old when you get excited about a duster this is like ginormous. I was not expecting it to be this big. That's what she said. I want to show you guys this really quick. It's called the Chom Chom Roller. I'm going to show it to you on our couch because... Oh no, actually I'm going to show you on the floor because I literally just vacuumed in like a recent vlog. If you guys haven't seen this before, you're going to get pretty grossed out. <laughs> Can you guys see that right there? I haven't piled up enough yet to like start going through, but look at it on the front in there. Let's keep going. Oh my god, that's so nasty. I'm gonna go right here because this is where the cats sit a lot. Well, Bella sits on here. Holy guacamole. That makes me feel like everything's dirty even though I clean it all the time. This thing is awesome, you guys. If you have pets, you need this dish. I'm gonna put it in my Amazon store. It'll be linked in the description. Yuck! He's so cool. 
can I just say it's been like not long at all like maybe 10 minutes and it smells like laundry throughout the whole place like it smells amazing i actually think these are so big that i can cut them in half all right i need to tidy up our bedroom real quick this is from my self tanning last night this is how i sleep you, you gotta get a sheet on the bed you gotta put a pillowcase on so you don't get it all over the white sheets and then i sleep with a different blanket because washing this duvet cover is like a pain in the butt and i'd rather avoid it at all costs let's clean up I never put my Apple Watch on and I didn't show you guys an outfit of the day. What kind of vlog? Hello? This camera, man. I changed something in the settings and I don't know what I did. What kind of vlog is it? I don't show you an outfit of the day. It's not one. It's just, let's just delete it at this point. Bye. Bye, guys. Another day, another comfy outfit. Oversized t-shirt from Boohoo. This can be dressed up or dressed down. These sweatpants are also from Boohoo. They're a really cute color. They're like kind of peachy nude-ish. I got these with a matching t-shirt, but today I just wanted to wear white. And then my socks are from American Eagle. Kind of wintry, but they're the only like white socks that I had that would match this. So all the other ones are clean. We need to do some laundry. I mean dirty. Okay, perfect. I've been making the bed every day and it honestly just helps me feel so much better. All right, I really want to test this out. Here's our bathroom lights. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they are dustier than a mofo. <laughs> I just pictured you guys watching this video with your kids and your kid is like, mommy, what's a mofo? Sorry, if, if that's happening, I probably just made it worse. I love you guys. <laughs> Ew, that's so nasty that I've never dusted these. It's been like too long. Okay, I'm not gonna use it this long because that's not necessary. Oh, Jesus. I am so blind, I cannot even tell if this is like happening. Um, <laughs> did it work? <laughs> I think it's undusted. Undusted. <laughs> Undusted. Okay, we are officially forgetting vocabulary at this point. Bangino, Peprino. We need to change the Garbagino, Garbagino. Give me a card. tidy up this kitchen and then we are going to cook an early dinner. I actually ended up shutting off the wax warmer in the office because they're so strong. I did not need both of them. I felt like I was wasting it. So literally only needed one to fill up the whole place with the smell. It literally smells like laundry in here. It's amazing. Also P.S. last night when I was prepping for my tan I like soaked in the tub and like washed it off and I brought some popcorn in there with me and I air popped it. This used to be my jam. I just recently got back into it and I need to tell you guys about this. This popcorn seasoning garlic parm looks like i'm at a rave it's just my light from my plants <laughs> oh my god it was a uh amazing i have that one and the ranch one and i actually was watching remy's vlog and she showed her drawer full drawer drawer sorry guys draw <laughs> full of these seasonings and i went online and they have so many freaking flavors they literally have a chocolate one and i always crave popcorn with chocolate so i'm gonna get so many of these and we're gonna try them all let's do a popcorn taste test <laughs> i'm joking but like that would actually be pretty fun did you want the sink on on. All right, I just went through our fridge and we are getting down to the wire, you guys. I have never seen our fridge so empty. We've got pickles, a few eggs, lots of onions and only a little bit of cheese left some feta and hummus back there we're good on butter and chocolate chips we can make some cookies <laughs> and then i just went and organized the freezer a little bit to see what we had we're good on frozen veggies we've got a little bit of ice cream left and some frozen foods we've got fries frozen shrimp waffles fruit bars burrito <laughs> pizza bagels chicken patties some bagels a frozen lasagna frozen breakfast sandwiches bagels and then up here we just have left some hot dogs turkey burgers and veggie burgers and then in here we've got some steak chicken thighs 
fish. So we're pretty good on the frozen stuff, but we are like basically out of our fresh produce. So for tonight, I figured we would use up some of our fresh ingredients while mixing a little bit of the frozen. This pepper is like literally like she wants to go. She's on her last leg, but I'm gonna use a little bit of what is left of her not to waste it. Not to waste it, is that even English? So that we don't waste it. <laughs> She's fine, just a little shriveled up. She's a little grandma pepper. We're gonna make some Philly cheesesteak quesadillas. I've never made these for you guys on the vlog, but I have put them on my Instagram. So if you want a step-by-step -step instruction, you can go on my Instagram stories in the recipe highlight and it's all on there, but I will show you guys it right now too. We're gonna use our carb balanced tortillas, not because we're low carb, because we like the 110 calorie part of it. And then some onion and some Mexican cheese and some seasonings. That's pretty much it. It's really, really easy and it's delicious. I'm going to use a griddle. You can totally use pans to make everything. It's just like, I like to cook the onion, pepper, and the meat all together at once. It's just easier to cook it all in one spot. But you can totally do this in a pan. That's how I did it before I realized, oh, I can make everything at the same time on the griddle. Also, if you don't want to make it into a quesadilla, you can also put this on some toasted bread and make this. A uh, Philly cheesesteak sandwich. You can put it on a sub roll and make a real Philly cheesesteak. I think a quesadilla is fun though. The griddle that I have is just from Walmart. It's just a 20 inch griddle. It was like affordable, I'm pretty sure. I got it for Christmas and it's amazing. So I'll have it linked for you guys. All right, first things first, we're gonna cut up our onion and pepper. We're gonna see what we can save from this pepper. See, there we go. And we honestly don't need much. So this is perfect. Makes me feel better that it didn't go to waste. I'm just gonna cut off the pieces that are like clearly not good. What's a little shriveled up pepper? They're gonna shrivel up anyway. I am just prepping the veggies first and getting them on because they're gonna take longer than the meat. So I wanna get these going because the meat is so thin it literally cooks in like seconds. You know I've learned from cooking shows that you're not supposed to hold a knife with your finger out. You're supposed to hold it like this. So whenever you see a chef, they're always holding their knife like this. Isn't that weird? I'm so used to putting my finger up. Even when Zane has tried to teach me to play tennis, it reminds me of that. Like when I'm holding the racket, which is so dangerous because if a ball hits the racket too fast, your finger's gone. But it's like a bad habit, but obviously less dangerous with the knife. See, look at that. We got so much pepper. Amazing. Now we're gonna do some onion. This one was actually pre-sliced already by me. By the way, I've yet to wash the um, onion saver and I already had onion in here, so that's why I'm using a plastic baggie still. Alrighty, we're gonna get our seasonings ready. For everything, I'm gonna be using salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Those are my four basic ingredients that I use on everything. So if you don't know what I'm seasoning anything with, Probably those. I actually just remembered that I use mozzarella when I make this, not Mexican cheese, but today we're gonna get a little crazy and we're gonna do half and half. All right, let's get started. Spray your pan or griddle, whatever you are using. I feel like I'm doing a cooking class. That'd be awesome, imagine. Lots of onions and peppers for deliciousness. Don't forget to season. Onion powder on the onions, yo. Nobody can stop me. Oh my God, it already smells so good. I freaking love cooking, you guys. This has been keeping me so sane. It makes me so happy. So the meat that I'm using is just frozen from Lidl. You can get fresh shaved steak, you can get frozen. I like the frozen one because then I can just use it whenever I want. And they come in little slices like this. So I'm gonna be making Probably four of them, so two for each quesadilla. And that leaves us with more left for another night. Amazing. So these literally cook for a minute on one side and then 15 seconds on the other. Super duper quick. So we're gonna throw them on. I wonder if I can fit all of them. All right, we're gonna quickly wash our hands and season this side. The amazing part about doing this all together is now once you take the meat off of this griddle, you put the onions and peppers and all the juices from the meat cooking and it just makes it all so good. So now I'm just assembling the quesadillas. I'm putting a little bit of Mexican cheese and a little bit of moss. Now we are gonna take two pieces on top of each other and we're gonna slice them up just like that. Get it on the quesadilla. Now you take the onions and peppers and you get all that 
goodness on them. This is so simple, you guys, but it's so delicious. Okay, we've got the onions and peppers looking beautiful. We're gonna put half and half on the quesadillas. And look at that, you guys. Oh my deliciousness. Top them off with some cheese. Quesadillas are so much easier than burritos. You just fold them over. I'm just pushing them down to make sure they're in a nice like even layer in there and everything is gonna be cooked evenly. Once that side is crisped to your liking, you are going to flip and if you lose some guys, put them back in. Mm-mm-mm, yum. Bam, super easy cleanup. All you've got is this a cutting board and a knife. I'm gonna let these cool for about a minute and then I'm going to cut them into little pieces and then we've got ourselves a delicious quesadilla. Look at this, you guys. Woo! we expected out here because the sun's going down now so it's getting later in the day it's a little chilly but fresh air feels nice regardless did it get as warm as it was supposed to today got up to like it says it's 59 right now it just feels cold in the shade i'm gonna try dipping mine in ranch i don't know we're gonna see how it is is it good amazing amazing mm. i love a good philly it's like one of my favorite foods if you guys didn't know philly cheesesteaks it's kind of good in the ranch mm. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Delicious. I put so much seasoning, I feel like I could use more salt. Really? Mm-hmm. Are these good wraps? Mm-hmm. Damn, it's so good. I know. Instead of making a side, I'm gonna make a really yummy dessert. You know what someone I'm... say dessert? You know what I'm gonna make? What? Monkey bread. Oh, you're gonna try making it? Mm-hmm. Or should I just have my cheesecake? Well, then I can't have any cheesecake, you know what I mean? You can have the vanilla ice cream. Or whatever you want, baby. Whatever you're feeling. We'll see how, how, how much of a sweet tooth I have after I finish eating this. Mm. If I want the monkey bread. So Anyways, if we don't make it tonight, we'll make it within the next few vlogs. But I grew up eating monkey bread like at holidays for family stuff. I've never made it before though, and Zane has never had it. He's like, What's monkey bread? I'm like, What's monkey bread? Excuse me. But we have a roll of cinnamon rolls in the fridge, so I want to try it out. Okay, I've got the hair pulled back. We are baking, ladies and gentlemen. I have decided on making the monkey bread. I looked up recipes and I realized that traditionally you make it with biscuits, not cinnamon rolls. I totally thought that it was cinnamon rolls. So I found a recipe that uses cinnamon rolls. It just sounds better anyway. Who doesn't want a cake with cinnamon rolls made in it? I also don't have a bunt pan. I believe that's what it is. I don't have a bunt cake pan. So I found a recipe that uses cinnamon rolls and a pan, which was hard to find. They use a nine by 13 inch um, pan, but they use two things of this. And one of their rolls is 17 ounces and one of this is only 12.4. So we have a lot less stuff. So I'm using a mini seven inch cheesecake pan to make ours. So if you wanna make this, all you need in the recipe is cinnamon rolls, brown sugar, butter, regular granulated sugar, cinnamon, and some maple syrup. I'm gonna adjust the amount of each ingredient because we have so much less, so I'll link the recipe down below that I am using. First things first, I got the oven preheated to 350, and now we are going to toss these in sugar in a big Ziploc. I'm doing 1 8 of a cup of sugar. Actually, we're gonna do a little bit more than that. We need it to coat it. Lots of cinnamon. Shake it up. Bam, cinnamon sugar. I knew it was coming and it scared me anyway. You always look like some good cinnamon rolls though. Wow, icing down. To be honest, I would've been happy with putting these in the oven normal, but why not try something different? We've got the time too.
is done. I left it in for probably like 25 minutes. I feel like it could have went a little longer. I think the bottom, bottom layer is a little bit doughy, but I don't mind. Looks so amazing. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. oh, it basically just tastes like a chopped up cinnamon bun, but it's more doughy because it's soaked up like the butter and stuff. I like it soft and mushy like this rather than sometimes when you make cinnamon rolls they get like hard i like the doughiness mm, that is so sweet though can't eat a lot of it all right you guys with all that being said that's gonna do it for me today today's notification shout out goes to caitlin r thank you so much for watching you were the first comment on my last video and thank you so much you said you've been loving the vlogs lately that means the world to me because i'm trying you guys thank you so much for being a part of the notification squad i love you so very much if anyone else would like a notification shout out comment down below letting me know the notifications turned on and you might be in my next video i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye guys